family. Thanks to Runners Tribe for having me along again today. What I wanted to chat about today was hip mobility. If we can get better range of movement around our hips, then we're going to get into better positions. We're more likely to recruit our glutes to assist with our running rather than our, our tight TFLs or hip flexors and that sort of thing. So I'm going to give you three exercises that you can use to do as regularly as you can that's going to improve your hip mobility. Because if we can improve that, then we can improve your running performance. Okay, so first up, I've got a lacrosse ball. So you can use a cricket ball, um, you can use a golf ball, but um, I've got a lacrosse ball today, that's what I generally recommend. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna trigger all of those muscles directly around the hip. So we're gonna start by triggering our glutes. We're gonna start all the way back there and then trigger all the way forward to the side. Gonna kind of hit those muscles around that ITB through the front onto that hip flexor. So we do that by sitting on it on the ground. Starting like this, we put the lacrosse ball down on the ground, start triggering around the glute there. Round and then slowly start to work your way around onto the round that ITB there and then through to that hip flexor. So in all, triggering all around that hip is going to take you approximately four to six minutes. Because you want to spend a good two minutes around that glute, two minutes around that ITB TFL area, and then two minutes around that hip flexor. Really working in there. Particularly when you find a spot that hurts, stick on that for quite a while, move it around a little bit and get stuck into that. So that's your triggering for around the hip. Next one that you can do is we're going to put you, really test that hip range. We're going to get down into a mountain climber's type position. And so our foot is outside our hands there. And then we're just going to do some hip circles. So we're trying to draw a circle with that hip. So we do 10 of those but one way, and then we change directions, and then 10 that way, and then obviously change legs as well. Now, final one I'll give for you, to you today is we're just gonna jump down to the bottom of the squat. So I don't want you sitting up like that where you're really working those quads. It should just be a little bit more relaxing than that. But we're using our elbows to drive our knees out and our feet are shoulder width apart. Once we've done that for two minutes, we're just gonna walk forward on our heels for 10 steps, and then walk back for 10 steps, again through our heels. So try those ones out at home, um, do those as regularly as you can, and let's get you better hip mobility. Thanks again, Runners Tribe.